Hello, welcome to Sonography Radiology Training Channel. This series of videos is about normal X-ray findings simulate disease. This is the first video in this video series about the normal pelvic X-ray findings in infants and young children. Part 1. We will review 10 cases together. Case 1. This 2-year-old infant has obvious pertus disease on left side. This X-ray in neutral position and this is abduction view. We can see obvious pertus disease finding in left side. However, the defect in right femoral head is a developmental variant in epiphyogenesis of upper femur, not incipient osteochondritis. Case 2. Normal irregular mineralization of the ossification center of the left femoral head. This appearance in a single center in a young infant does not necessarily indicate disease. Case 3. Bilateral stippled appearance of capital epiphysis with progression to normal appearance. This image in 18 months of age and this one in 30 months of age. Case 4. Two examples of normal developmental irregularity of the femoral heads in children without hip symptoms. This is a 3-year-old boy and this one a 4.5-year-old boy. And case 5. Double ossification centers for the capital femoral epiphysis. This finding is a normal variant, not an indication of disease. Case 6. Cleft of the proximal femoral epiphysis in a three-year-old girl. A cleft epiphysis has to be differentiated from a fracture. Generally, fractures demonstrate signs of healing like callus formation if the radiograph is repeated two to three weeks after injury. Recognition of this entity is important to avoid overtreatment and unnecessary surgical intervention. Case 7. The femoral notch in two nine-year-old children. This defect is probably cartilaginous because arthrography shows that it does not communicate with the joint. It may be seen as early as four years of age and this appears generally over the course of months or years. Another example of double femoral head notches seen on the left side in a nine-year-old child. Case 8. Two examples of the normal irregularity of the acetabular roofs in young children. This appearance is normal between age 7 and 12 years. Case 9. Normal intrapelvic protrusion of the acetabula. This is a normal phase of development between 4 and 12 years of age. And the last case. The fossa at the entry point of the acetabular nutrient vessels may simulate a lucent lesion of the femoral head. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel. If you would like to get notification for the next videos, please press the small bell. If you have any questions or video suggestions, please write in the comments. Thank you for your attention.